Hey guys, what's going on? It's Reflex66 back with another quick loot guide video. Today we're going over how to loot your factory on your scav. So one of the things to remember on your scav run is that you're not focused on killing things. If you happen to hear a PMC, you might get some bonus XP or some bonus scav rep for dropping a PMC. But for the most part, you're not going to fire a shot on your scav runs, especially if you're trying to build up your scav rep. So your gun doesn't matter. The important thing is, is to have a big backpack and a big rig to hold as much stuff as you can so you can get loot so you can use that stuff either on your hideout or sell it off for money so that you can transfer it over to your PMC. So we're going to load into factory. We're not going to shoot anything and we're going to pick up as much stuff as I can show you how to pick up. I'm going to show you where all the loot spawns, which boxes to open and how to survive. So here we go. We're going to start over here. We're in the, this is like we call this just the blue containers. First spot we're going to start is right here in this big box right here. So what the actual loot is doesn't matter. You're going to pick up everything as you're going through here. A full slot is better than any empty slot, so pick up everything. Next, we're going to come over here under the stage to the green box. These green boxes can have ammunition, weapons, attachments, all kinds of good stuff in these green boxes, so all the green boxes are valuable to loot. Then you're going to wrap up here to the top of the stage, and there's two more green boxes right up here. Now, the good part about scaving on factory is the, how densely populated the loot is on the map. There's loot everywhere and it's all in a nice tight area so you're literally spending all of your time looting no time running from place to place trying to find where the loot spot is so you the caches that you have to discover in the ground or anything like that you just go and grab i think there's someone shooting at us the next spot once you come off the stage you're going to come down once one flight of stairs and you're going to go right here to this green box all right and then you're going to come back out under stage we're going to wrap a round stage over here to 1986. We call this 1986 or Postman Pat because there's a giant 1986 on the wall right there. You're going to check this little trailer right here. This can spawn car batteries, uh, spark plugs, propane tanks, things like that. You're going to come up top, go around, and there's another green box on top of 1986 right here, right above Postman Pat. From here, we're going to come over and jump over this railing. There's another green box right here. From there, you're going to come back in here. This is Postman Pat that you have a task for later to grab a letter out of the vest. But he also is a, a Carl, as we call them, a dead body that spawns on the map. So you can pull loot out of him. From here, we're going to keep following the outside wall. We're going to go over to these barrels. On top of these barrels is another weapon box. All right, from the barrels, you're gonna stick along the wall. You're gonna run on the back side of this railing over to here. This is a large medical supply box. Again, guys, we're picking up everything that is on the map still. Remember, we're on scav, so not all the boxes are gonna have amazing loot in them. Some of them are gonna be empty or already looted. That's fine. Just keep looting, keep moving as you go. So you go from the big box to the small box inside the medical tent. You're gonna check behind on these little boxes, back over here on the shelf, and then on these boxes here, and then the final spot over here is right on top of this little white box, which there's nothing there this raid. We're gonna, from here, go down the ramp and around the corner. And the first thing we're going to run into is this green box right here. All right, nothing in that one. So someone's been through this area, but we'll still check everything anyways. The next stop is right here, a little grenade case. Um, this is really easy to stock up on grenades. A lot of people don't realize that this grenade box is even in this rubble pile here. Um, I've been looting this consistently get grenades for years now. Then there's this large technical supply crate over here. It has different items for your hideout, different valuables, things you can grab out of here. Um, again, we're taking every slot counts for something, so we're not going to leave anything empty. Take as much as we can. All right. From here, if you're full, which I am, you can just run over to extract, but I'm going to continue to show you the rest of the loot run. We're going to wrap to the right. And then we're going to double backwards a little bit. We're going to come over this way. There's another green box that we don't want to miss on these forklifts over here. There can also be uh, some nice ammo that spawns right back here. From here, we're going to run over here. Down in this little oil change bay is a toolbox. You got to crouch and just walk down here and grab yourself some tools. All right. 
Once you've looted that, we're going to wrap around this wall. This is pumping station right here. It's absolutely useless. If you happen to have a pumping station key with you, you can go in there. Occasionally there's a horse statue, but most part, this is useless. We're going to wrap around pumping station. You come over here to another weapon box in the corner. All right, from the weapon box, we're going to open this door. One thing I haven't mentioned yet is while you're going through here, always keep an eye out for bodies. Uh, you could find player bodies unlooted, scab bodies all over the place. And always check the scab bodies in their pockets and their bags for the potential to find keys. But once you get back here to the back, uh, this is the forklift spawn area. There's two jackets, and there can be a, a key to the interchange power station key on that shelf. So check these two jackets to see if you can find any keys. All right, from here, we're going to run down glass hallway towards gate three. What up, bub? All right, once we get over here by gate three, there's another green box here. You see we're in a live raid, so there's other players in here running, running around. Um, but there's a box here that's already been looted. We're going to go past here. We're going to run over here onto these metal stairs. Right here is another green box that's been looted. From here, we're going to go back down to the first ground floor. And over here in the corner can be an MBSS backpack, but it's not here this raid. But always check right over here for a backpack. It is full of items, or can spawn full of items. Then from here, you have the office area. Um, the office area recently has been opened up, the bottom of the office here. There's a gym bag. If you go to the back, there's a green box and two more jackets. These have all been looted. And then if you come back out, there could be loose loot right here on this desk or on these shelves back here or sometimes down here on the floor under the desk. On the shelves right out here, there could be loose loot and there's a toolbox right back here, but it's also been looted. And we're going to come over here and look, look around the room for loose stuff on the shelves. We don't see anything, don't see anything, so we're going to keep moving. And then we're back kind of towards the start of the run. We've already checked this green box and we are going by stage. We're going to go up to the second floor in the bathroom. We're going to cut through the locker rooms. You're going to check this first locker here on the left for loose items and sometimes weapons can spawn right here on the shelf. You're going to wrap around and you can find, uh, I think it's the pumping station key right here on the bench. Then come through the back side of the bathrooms and you're going to check over here for a key for the shoreline resort. And then right up here in this locker, there can be meds that spawn, loose salewas and, and uh, car first aid kits. So that's the second floor. Now we're going to get up to the top of the offices. See, again, we're checking dead bodies as we're going. But this is the third floor. Um, if you run out here, it's not a very common spawn. But right here can be a 3M armor or a PACA. If you come back into the third floor of the office, this door is locked. You need the, the factory key to open it up. This door you can kick open, but there's not normally any loot in here. Occasionally, you could find an MBSS with some loose items in it right here. If you come back out on the shelf here, you can find loose items like we see here. And then on this shelf, you can also find technical items. So those are definitely worth checking. Once you go into the main office, you got your safe. Behind the door, you've got your two jackets. And then over here, you've got your two filing cabinets. So once you're done with your filing cabinets, you're going to come back out here. Check your hallway, make sure you're clear, and you're going to turn to the left. You're going to run out here to the bridge. You're going to go across the bridge and down to the bottom of the stripper pole. So what I recommend doing is when you come down, instantly go to these two boxes right here. There's two green boxes behind the stripper pole. You're going to come back in here. We call this the stripper pole because, you know, you got to go around and around like a stripper. <laughs> you come back in. There's two jackets right here. There could be loose loot on these barrels. And then you come around this corner. There's another green box right here. Uh, the final spot to loot here is if you come back through here through the barbed wire, you can just run straight through it. Doesn't give you that much damage. There's a final weapon box right here. And guys, that's everything you can loot on Factory. There might be a couple of places with loose loot that I didn't mention. If you guys know of anything, be sure to leave it down in the comments. I appreciate you guys watching the video. Stay tuned for more just like this, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you need any additional help, feel free to come by the stream on Twitch. Check out our Discord at toc.gg slash Discord. Stop by our website at TarkovHelpline.com or leave a comment down below.